Howdy, this is Pediatrics Customizable Orthotics for foot and ankle malalignment. What is the current need for our project? So, the need is for children's orthotics. It's an often forgotten market, underdeveloped, and needs combative footwear that will correct misalignment, that isn't expensive, isn't uncomfortable, and is fully customizable. That brings us to our device. Our device combines the use of 3D scanners, computer software, cost-effective materials, and time-sensitive manufacturing. It does this by using the process of the initial scan that a patient will have done that will take one minute to complete a full scan of the foot. Next, we will use mesh measure to clean up this scan, allowing for a precise 3D rendering of the foot. Next, we will have orthotic software that will take the mesh mixture and use AutoCAD to make alterations and produce a customizable orthotic. Then the orthotic will be printed using TPU, and this has been shown to be the best material as it is fully flexible and not expensive. Next, the patient will obtain this within two business days. Our device process is extremely competitive to those on the market, which you ask, what are those? Well, there's three main contributors to the products on the market. First, you have Dr. Scholl's, which is over the counter and provides one to 14 different types of orthotics. This is cost effective and timely. However, it doesn't meet the patient's needs of being children's as they only fit up to adult sizes. Next, we have foam molds. This is currently being done by Upstep, and this works by Upstep sending a foam packaging to the patient. They do the at-home patient impression, then they will send back the foam mold, and it will take about two weeks to process everything, and this results in that the patient will receive the orthotic in over four weeks as well as it is very expensive as each orthotic costs over $100. Next, we have the product done by Vorum, which is a scanning software that requires a special personnel. They don't specialize in only foot, but as well as full body scans. And this lacks some customability and some expertise in the world of orthotics. And it is very expensive. Now Ryan will be demonstrating our product. After finalizing our idea to use the scanning capabilities of an Xbox Connect, we did extensive testing to determine that the optimal distance for scanning is two feet using quarter inch thick plexiglass. Texas Children's Hospital asked us to be able to take a scan of a 300 pound patient up to a size 15 shoe. Our first design shown here made out of entirely of wood was used to be able to scan 360 degrees and up underneath the patient's foot. However, this design was too small and too bulky due to the wood. Our second design, demonstrated here by my lovely assistant, Mr. Jacob, allowed for the ideal scanning height of two feet and the, ten, the five plexiglass rods countersunk allows for ideal strength. The next clip is a side-by-side -side view of the scanning process. Here is the actual scanning process alongside the computer output. This process uses the IR scanner of the Xbox 360 Connect in conjunction with the ScanEct Pro software. The bounding box for scanning is set to be a cube with sides of 0.4 meters. It should be noted that the scanning process as shown here has been slightly sped up. A typical scan will take between 30 seconds to about a minute and 30 seconds. Longer scans produce higher quality meshes, but they are computationally more expensive. As you can see, we make sure we get a good scan of the bottom of the foot since this is essential to producing a high quality custom orthotic. After scanning, the foot is then reconstructed in ScanEct. There's a bit of noise here, but this will be removed later in the process. Keep in mind that this scan used the old stand, which was made of wood, which has now been replaced with the acrylic stand, which fixes the problem shown here. Once we make sure we have a good scan of the bottom of the foot, we can export the mesh as a POY file to Mesh Mixer for further processing. After the scan has been rendered in ScanEct, it is imported to a free computer program called Mesh Mixer. In Mesh Mixer, the extraneous noise from the scan is removed using four simple keystrokes as shown. 
S to select the desired foot, E to expand to the entire leg, I to invert the selection, and then finally the delete key is used to remove all the extraneous noise. This leaves a 3D scan of the patient's foot as shown, with a clear view of the arch and heel for orthotic customization. As you can see, you can rotate the scan 360 degrees to view the patient's arch and get a good view of their foot and ankle alignment. To examine strictly the sole of the patient's foot, a plane cut can be done to remove the base of the knee down to the ankle by going to Edit, selecting Plane Cut, and then selecting the desired location. This leaves just a small portion of the patient's foot. This edited scan is then sent to AutoCAD for orthotic customization. There are a few problems when the file is exported as an STL file from Mesh Mixer. The STL file is not properly centered, scaled, or rotated. Through Python, we were able to fix the STL file so that it could eventually be imported into the CAD software used for custom orthotic creation. The CAD software we use to generate orthotics is called OpenSCAD, a free, open source, programming based CAD language. To avoid working directly with the code, a person using this system would use the GUI we developed in Python. This Python GUI interfaces directly with OpenSCAD and enables the user to manipulate the orthotic through an easy to use interface. So this is the front end of our graphical user interface. As you can see, it gives you the option to open a scanned file and doing so opens a configuration menu and a pre-generated neut neutral orthotic. You can use the patient's scanned foot to adjust the orthotic to their specific needs. This configuration menu allows you to adjust the orthotic in many ways. For example, you can select the right or left foot and to show the scanned foot so that you can compare it and adjust the orthotic. It allows you to change the characteristics such as the orthotic thickness. For example, in this clip, we have chosen the medium thickness. It also allows you to change the heel width, foot width, and arch height. These measurements are in millimeters, and you change these measurements by moving the slider. These sliders were implemented because we wanted the user to be able to have a very accurate and detailed adjustment for the orthotic characteristics. It also allows you to change where the arc begins and where it ends, effectively allowing you to customize the entire contour of the orthotic, giving you the opportunity to produce a fully customizable patient-specific orthotic. Once you're comfortable with how the orthotic looks, you can hide the foot and have just the orthotic. Then you can export it as an STL file, and this STL file goes to a 3D printer where it is then printed. As for what material to 3D print with, after some research we decided that thermoplastic polyurethane would be the best material to use since it is a thermoplastic which gives it flexibility while maintaining high abrasion resistance, low temperature performance, high shear strength, high elasticity, and oil and grease resistance. But more importantly, TPU already has proven success as an orthotic material. Shown is our first iteration of our 3D printed orthotic with TPU. As seen, it is extremely flexible and durable. It weighs approximately 20 grams and is a medium thickness level at about 0.5 millimeters. It fits comfortably and easily into the patient's shoe and allows patients to continue with daily activities without disruption. There are a few future improvements we will want to make to our device to optimize its overall quality and effectiveness. Firstly, we would add a thin foam layer to the surface of the orthotic to improve overall comfort to the patient. We would also want to alter the thickness of just the heel portion of the orthotic to provide adequate support. We want to more accurately measure various angles within our software system by providing an auto-rotate feature as well as a laser to visually collect data. Finally, we would want to improve the safety of our stand by providing steps as well as grab bars for patients to use to support themselves.